Looking for the best enclosed 3D printer that just works out of the box with high speed, clean surfaces, and fewer warping headaches? Here's the definitive countdown from solid performers to absolute standouts based on real-world testing and hard-won lessons in ABS, ASA, nylon, and engineering filaments. Today's video breaks down five enclosed printers from different tiers, budget to pro, so there's something here for beginners, makers scaling up to production, and small studios chasing reliability and speed without babysitting prints. Stick around, because the top two change how enclosed printing feels day to day, and there's a curveball at number one that, well, you'll want to see why it matters. Number five. Flashforge Adventurer 5M. The Adventurer 5M is, um, the approachable doorway into enclosed printing if the budget's tight and the bench space is limited. But there's a catch. The full enclosure is an upgrade path, not a native integrated shell out of the box. Flashforge offers an official enclosure kit with laser-cut clear panels and hardware, and it does stabilize temperatures for ABS ASA once installed, but hinges and handles need to be 3D printed as part of the DIY build, which adds a maker step to what many expect to be plug and print for an enclosed machine. In practice, the kit does work, and the temperature stability helps reduce warp on ABS panels and ASA brackets when the chamber is closed up. Speed and usability are the fun parts here. The 5mm platform is marketed at up to 600mm Secker class speeds and feels snappy for a smaller bed with a user-friendly touchscreen and beginner-friendly workflow that's honestly comforting on day one. Once enclosed, it handled PLA and PETG quickly and cleanly, and lightweight functional parts in ABS came off flatter with fewer corner lifts than open-frame printers. Still, because the enclosure is modular and not factory integrated, little air gaps and panel resonance mean chamber heat isn't as uniform as you get from a purpose-built enclosed chassis. Material range is where expectations should be. Well, realistic. With the enclosure kit and the door shut, ABS and ASA are doable and surface finish improves versus open air, but engineering filaments at higher temps push the stock hot end near its limits, and cooling strategy needs tweaks like reduced fan to avoid layer delamination. 4. Quiddy Q1 Pro the Q1 Pro is the first printer on this list that feels like a purpose-built enclosed machine rather than an add-on situation, with a fully enclosed chamber, an independent chamber heater up to around 60 degrees Celsius, and a high-speed Corex motion system designed to keep prints stable when the pace picks up. In real use, that active chamber heating is the difference maker. ABS housings, ASA exterior parts, and polycarbonate brackets stayed flatter, layer bonds tightened, and dimensional drift shrank on tall jobs. For a mid-size workhorse, that's huge. Speed, it's lively. With clipper under the hood, input shaping and pressure advance on board, and a lightweight Core XE design, the Q1 Pro hits fast travel and print speeds while maintaining respectable surfaces. Think 200 to 300 millimeters per second sweet spot for quality and up to the 600 millimeters per second class for draft runs on infill heavy parts. The dual independent Z motors keep the gantry true, and the resonance control does its job when accelerating into corners. It's not just about bragging rights, it's about keeping line widths consistent on larger shells at speed. The material story is compelling for the price. ABS, ASA, PETG, TPU, PC, and nylons, including reinforced composites like PPSCF, are supported by the high temp extruder and the chamber heater's stability. The multi-metal composite nozzle helps with demanding filaments, and the removable PEI plate makes pop-off easier, especially on chamber-warm builds. With the built-in camera and remote control, it genuinely works as a day-to-day -day device for small batch runs and prototyping. 3. Kiti Max 3 Stepping up in size changes everything, and the Max 3 brings a big, enclosed print volume roughly 325, 325 times 315 millimeters with a core XE frame, active chamber heating to around 65 degrees Celsius, and a high flow, high temp hotend that's comfortable at engineering grade temperatures. If large ABS shells or ASA exterior panels are on the docket, the Max 3's independent chamber heater makes warping a rare event and lets layer lines melt into cleaner, more uniform walls, even at aggressive speeds. 
Out of the box, the Max 3 runs Clipper with input shaping, pressure advance, and a 600 mm per second class spec. Realistically, the high quality zone lands around 200 to 300 mm per second for common filaments, which is still fast for this build area. Wider 10 mm belts and a reinforced frame give the motion system bite, while the removable high flow plate and quick swap nozzle options keep maintenance undramatic. It feels like a machine built to spend hours printing volume parts without babying, which is exactly the promise of a big enclosed cube. Material range is excellent. PLA, ABS, ASA, PTGU, PC, nylons, and carbon fiber nylons are all supported by the 350 degrees class hot end and 120 degree bed, and that chamber heater up to about 65 degrees Celsius seals the deal on larger engineering jobs. For abrasive filaments, hardened nozzles are available, and the Max 3 maintains layer adhesion impressively on nylon carbon brackets and fixtures if the filament is dry. It's a serious production-oriented profile for a prosumer price. Two, Bamboo Lab P1S. The P1S is the it just works machine in the enclosed midsize class, and you know, that's not hype, it's earned. Fully enclosed with an activated carbon filter, a 256 times 256 times 256 millimeter build area, and a 300 degree all metal hot end, the P1S is tuned for speed and quality without fiddling, especially on ABS and ASA, where the enclosure stabilizes temperatures and reduces odor in a way that makes daily printing genuinely pleasant. With AMS support, multicolor and multi-material workflows are a button away. In testing, the P1S delivered predictable, glossy ABS and ASA walls at higher speeds than most competitors would dare, with sharp corners and minimal ringing thanks to well-tuned motion control. Fan profiles, part cooling, and filament handling feel mature, and the out-of-box experience saves hours of setup calibration routines and QA checks just work. The enclosure and filtration combo also keeps the workspace cleaner and safer, especially for school labs and home offices. Material coverage is broad. PLA, PTG, TPU, ABS, ASA, PA, PC, and more are supported by the enclosed chamber and 100 to 120 greasies class bed, with profiles that produce consistent first layers and clean bridging. The ecosystem polish, firmware, slicer, remote monitoring reduces mental overhead, which might be the most underrated feature if productivity matters. It's easy to go from idea to physical part before lunch without a pile of tuning notes. Number one, Prusa Core One. Well, this is the one that surprised even a skeptic. The Prusa Core One is a fully enclosed core XE machine built on an all steel exoskeleton with active chamber temperature control up to about 55 degrees Celsius and a refined motion system tuned for high speed precision. The print area, around 250 times 220 times 270 millimeters, hits a sweet spot for most functional parts, and the engineering intent shows up in the way it holds tolerances and finishes consistently across long, chamber-warm prints. It's a premium, enclosed, done-right experience. Set it up and it feels plug and print in under 10 minutes. Automatic first layer calibration, proactive sensors, and a neck extruder design that controls flow beautifully even on aggressive overhangs up to roughly 75 degrees. In practice, that meant less time babying calibration and more time iterating designs. ABS housings slotted together cleanly, PETG snap fits had confidence, and nylon parts kept dimensional stability over tall builds. The chamber control makes a real difference in layer adhesion without scorching everything around it. Speed sits in the modern high-performance tier, but the standout is composure, corner fidelity, texture consistency, and layer stacking look deliberate, even as speeds rise beyond typical comfort zones. The Corexi kinematics feel planted, and the enclosure is quiet, solid, and free from the panel rattle common on lighter builds. For studios and prosumers who need reliable, repeatable output without a tinkering tax, this is the kind of machine that winds up as the default in the room. Final thoughts. That's all for today, folks. 